In this part, we shall learn some important symbols, starting with roads, tanks, temple, huts, riverbeds, tree, well, and forest. If we take roads, they are shown in red color lines. Tanks, again, Rajasthan has plenty of dry tanks. Temple, huts, riverbed, trees, well, forest. Coming to different type of roads, first one, metal road. Metal road are also called pakka roads. This is metal road with a kilometer stone. Pack tracks. These are utilized by donkeys, mules. They carry loads. That's why they're called pack track. Cart track. Footpath. Footpath is shown with a dotted lines. Bridge. Again, road with a bridge. This is the symbol of it. This is bridge with a pyre, as we can see here. This is an extract of the Survey of India map, that is sheet number 45D. Well, there are different type of roads. Whenever there is a double line, red color line, it's a metal road. Single red color lines are all cart tracks. Well, they are motorable in dry season. Now, what do we understand by this? It means that they cannot be crossed by cars or motors during rainy season as the ground becomes wet and muddy during rainy season. But in the dry season, when the ground is hard and dry, motor can cross the area. What line is this? Pack track. Pack track is shown in red color line, but it will be dashes. Well, here we take up two villages, Sirori and Pamera. What type of road connects village Sirori and Pamera? Well, the answer would be cart track. The reason is it is a single line and red color line. If I take these two village, Sirori and Gulab Ganj, it would be a metal road. The reason is it's a double line. What type of road connects village Singerli and Harmatia? The answer would be pack track. Again, because it is a single line and it is dashes. Now, what type of road is this? This is single line, but it is not dash, it is dotted. Well, this is a footpath. Now we will see some more symbols like dry tank. A topo map will have plenty of dry tank. Let us see where all we can see dry tank in this map. Oh, we have plenty of dry tanks. Now these are called dry tanks because water can be seen only during rainy season. Rest of the time in the year, the tanks are dry. A dry tank with an embankment. Whenever there are lines at the border of the tank, it will be called a dry tank with embankment. Now, what is an embankment? An embankment is a raised bank or a wall that is built to hold back water. Then a topo map will have plenty of temples, especially near villages. There will always be plenty of trees in a topo map and they are of two types. One, ordinary trees which are shown in green color and the other one, survey trees which is shown in black color and it is accompanied by a survey number. As here you can see the number 285. Wells. There are two type of well. One is lined, another one is unlined. A lined well is a pakka well. There will be masonry work in it. Whereas unlined well is just dug. And mostly in the topo map, most of the places you will see lined well. Unlined well is very rare. It's very less. Then huts. When it comes to huts, there are two types, permanent huts and temporary huts. And mostly you will see permanent huts. But of course, in some places, you will also see temporary huts. Coming to 
a river bed. Now what you are seeing here is a river bed. This is a dry river bed. The reason is it is Rajasthan where the amount of rainfall is very less and rainfall is seasonal. So throughout the year it is dry except the rainy season. Now there are letters written like 6R. What does it mean? It refers to relative depth. Now relative depth represents the approximate depth in meters between the top and bottom of a slope. This is useful in understanding the river or the stream in which direction it flows. So based on the flow of the river, we can say that the river is moving from west towards east. The reason is on one hand we see 5R whereas on the other side we see 10R. So here the depth is less whereas here the depth is more. So we can say the water is moving in this direction towards the reservoir. Let's take one more example but before that here we have left bank and the right bank. So once we understand the flow of the river we also understand the left bank and the right bank. Now another example that is starting from 3R to 6R here the flow will be in this direction so the left bank and the right bank will also change. With this, we conclude this module, children.